Hello everybody, this is Joe Bean Videos on the Jimmy Master Anotronics and I have a cool review today. This is a Spirit Halloween 2011 animatronic. This is the Rising Coffin Vampire. Um, this, I mean, I thought it was made by Fitco because, you know, the skeleton version that was at Kmart had the Fitco skeleton face, but it's actually Pan-Asian creations. However, they kind of work together, so it's technically the same thing. <laughs> um... But, yeah, you're wondering how I got this. Well, there's this lady at my spirit that shops there every year. And she told me this year that she's just tired of having these and having to set them up every year. And so, I she sold this to me with the Spirit Halloween store display altar for only a $50. I, have two, I got two other things off of her, too, and I'll show it in another video. But, yeah, that's a great deal. <laughs> And there's only one problem with it. The head doesn't turn because the square shaft gear is split. Which Alex Lore said he would send me from his. He has one, but the the mouth and eyes on his don't work. This one's eyes really don't light up very much. They're very dim. I'm not sure why they don't really light up too well. But, yeah. He uses a 9-volt adapter. And here's... Um, so... Let me actually unplug him for a second so he doesn't go off when I show you his. Um, but yeah, he's uh, his coffin folds up. His body comes out. His thing here, Velcro's down. And this harness, you have to plug in. It uh, It's for the speaker, volume control, uh, the switch adapter, and the try me button. That's what this goes for. There's no lights in the coffin on this one. Uh, the skeleton one and the Grand and Road Vampire version, those have lights in the coffin. coffin. But the, the, the Grand and Road Vampire one doesn't have a moving mouth. The skeleton's probably the coolest, though, because that's the one I grew up with, seeing it at Kmart. And But that one's not as tall. This one's six... Well, this one's five feet. The other one stands up only, like, four feet. The coffin's, like, six feet tall, though. And the, the skeleton one's not as wide but yes this altar is a really nice piece for me to have i'm had no i never thought i'd ever own this and you know every this is for a store display you know so each store only got one obviously so like i don't know how many stores were around in 2011 but just imagine there's probably none of these really left so and it folds up these parts come out it folds up and that part comes out it's really easy to store that's how she's kept it in great condition it's just easy to store there's a pillow there's uh, some part cardboard missing in this part so the coffin looks kind of stupid right now there's a little flimsy cardboard in it but yeah he's got a red ring here his head is supposed to turn this way that's how you know it's a square shaft that's broke because you can you shouldn't be able to turn it that easily it's very loose but yeah his the only thing I don't like about it is it's really flat. The legs are flat. The it just kind of looks weird, a little weird. Like, but it's it's really cool. There's also a button um, along the sides here somewhere, it's right here. There's a button, try me button. Anyways, show it. Oh yeah, I do have the box too. I can show that as well. These are not very sensitive to sound.
yeah. And this one is apparently faulty. Like, there was people who had a lot of problems with these. Like, I remember one person said one started smoking at their store for the rising part. Um, there was one person who said they had, like, I think three and none of them worked. I don't know. And Jaden just said that the rising mecha and this is pretty fragile, too. Jaden, do you want to say anything? No. I thought you wanted to be featured in this. Well, you just started recording. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but... It's a it's 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 really cool. Um, again, I think this skeleton. I think the other two are were a little more durable, but those were made a few years earlier, and you know how quality went down every year. So, I mean, the, yeah. I I do wish there was lights inside the coffin, but you could easily add a spotlight in there, which is probably what I would probably do. A green one would be cool. Um, or even a red doesn't really matter any I think any spotlight would look cool on him to be honest and I guess I'll show you the box and I guess I'll show you it one more time after that Doesn't look like the price. Oh, here it is. It was two hundred dollars. The the cane the skeleton one that was at camera was only like I think it was only like sixty to be honest. It wasn't very expensive. Like this was a huge. I mean, I remember someone clearly putting the con uh, comment on this video when Spirit first uploaded it in 2011. I saw a skeleton that did the exact same thing and it was only half the price. What makes you think this is worth <laughs> more? I saw that comment. It's probably even still up. But yeah, we'll show one more time. <laughs> That's it for this video. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching and bye.